here, back at again in our unboxing video. Super excited about this today. Today we are doing an unboxing video for the RK61 wireless 60% mechanical gaming keyboard. That's right, pretty excited about this though. So let's start with unboxing this thing. It'll be coming in a really nice box right here, so that's pretty cool. And it's also got the name of the keyboard right here, the RK, awesome. So let's open this bad boy on up. So what I'm gonna do first, it's got this little thing. So we're gonna slip that open, pop the top open like so. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So if you're opening it up for the first time, this is pretty much what it's gonna look like. Nothing crazy. You got the keyboard, of course. It's got blue switches. So if you're wondering what kind of switches it has, there's a blue switches. It has the mechanical keyboard user manual. So that's a thing. So that's here. We have that. And we also have this little piece right here that always comes in handy. Uh, and we also have this right here that is That's not well, I'm not gonna be able to read this, but I did get this so yeah If there's anything else I'm missing uh, Not really so pretty much I'm opening the box up. There's like an inside of it So if you open the box like this you can see the box is like this when you first get it it's Like kind of like that then you pop it open and there's a cable on the inside There's this which you can't quite see so let me move this away so you guys can get more of a look at what it looks like to open it up. So I've already shown you the first few things, but if you look at this in this way, pop it, you're gonna get a cable right there. So that's pretty cool. This is actually the cable for the keyboard because the keyboard is supposed to be wireless and also wired, which is really nice because if you don't want to have any wires on your desk, that's really cool because then you just hook it up to your keyboard by, if I'm not mistaken, it's Bluetooth. So let me double check that. Yeah, Bluetooth. So it uses Bluetooth connection and you know where it cannot connect with a PC. So just anything with Bluetooth connection. Wow, I can't say that today. Anything with Bluetooth connection can connect to this keyboard. So that's really nice. And if you don't want to do that, you want to actually have some form of wire, you have that right here that comes with it. So that's pretty cool. Now I'm going to remove the box because we don't need that anymore. So we have this wire. We have this. We have this little thing we got with it. May user manual and the keyboard. Now I am going to remove everything else so I can actually show you guys what the keyboard looks like real quick. So when I open this up, and here we go, it is really small and compact. So it's it's really small, guys. It's like super small. Yeah, that's actually really tiny. I do like that. I'm gonna have to mess with this a bit, and it does have a little USB for this thing. So yeah, I'm gonna go plug this in just a bit. So that'll be pretty cool. And I'm also going to test out the Bluetooth connection. That's going to be kind of the thing. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'm just figuring out if this is the right spot. Yeah, this is the right spot. I'm just double checking to make sure. Oh, I just have it upside down. <laughs> so I mean, when you're trying to plug in the port, you just have it upside down all the time. So that's what that looks like if you're trying to plug it in and stuff like that. And you're trying to use a USB. Okay. So let me go try this out. I'll be right back in just a bit. Okay, everyone. So... I want to let you know about this keyboard real quick. First thing I need to let you know that it's very compact. I will let you guys know it is super compact. So this is the keyboard we're using right now to test out for today. And here's the keyboard I regularly use. This is the keyboard I regularly use compare to this compact one. This one versus this one. Yeah, this one's going to save you a lot of table space. And also it's going to save you space if you don't want to use the wire. So this thing, it's wireless and wired. There are also two modes of this keyboard, which I read the user manual for 10 minutes, so that was fun. And so what you need to do in order to first turn on this keyboard, there is a switch on the bottom, which you can turn it on. And if you have it on, it'll start glowing. Nice, that looks sick, awesome. And then there's two modes. I'm gonna tell you how to change modes. First, you click FN and tab. This will change it to wired or wireless mode. So this might be wired, I think this is wired. And then when you change it to wireless mode you want to click FN and tab so basically just FN and tab FN tab to change modes so yeah FN tab for one mode FN tab for another mode and then they can check if you're on the Bluetooth mode all you have to do is after getting the right one and testing until you get it you get FN P and what this does with FN P is going to pairing mode so I am on Bluetooth mode I click FN and tab and I did an FN and P, and my P is now flickering like crazy. That means it is pairing to a Bluetooth device. I've already paired it to my Bluetooth device, but if you have not, you would do the same thing I did right now. FN P starts flickering like crazy. You go into your devices, you go to Bluetooth, add device, of course, and then you click here, 
and you would click Bluetooth and it would be right there. But to make sure you guys understand this, I will disconnect it from right now because I do have it connected already. But I'll disconnect it and reconnect again. So now it's forgetting the device. Now if we look for it, it should pop up. It's sending an output. Or it's just sending a signal, either one we want to call it. But uh, yeah, now it's connected. It's awesome. It's connected and all that stuff. So that's pretty cool. So now we were going to type. Don't forget, it's not wired. It's just nothing. So if I backspace, of course, it's typing up like crazy, which is really good. You can see it's typing up like crazy. You didn't see the first time because my thing was in the way. So it's typing. Awesome. That's nice. And it's also got blue switches. Don't forget, it has blue switches. Um, So that's a thing. So that's really nice to know. It does have RGB, so I will show you how to do that next. And also it has the ability to switch to between Bluetooth devices. So that's pretty cool. So let's say if you're going somewhere and you are going to connect to a different device, you can do that. It has the three connections. So by reading this user manual I read earlier for 10 minutes straight, it has right here, I'll read it. It has a three Bluetooth connections, which you can match and switch out. So basically what you would do, if you want to switch your Bluetooth device, all you have to do is right here. It even says you get the user manual. You click FN, Q, W, E. So if I was to click that right now, Q, or FN, Q, W, E, that would switch the device. But I don't have anything else connected to, so yeah. That's fine, but we don't need this anymore. But anyways, back on, it's laying perfectly on the table, wow. Um, but yeah, if we were to connect it to another device, it would connect to another device. See, it seems like it wants to connect to a different device, but we're not connected. So we would click in FN, Q, W, E. It should be connected to our first device. If it isn't, FN, Q, W, E. And it should connect at least once, yeah. So it thought there was two different devices, but there was nothing there. So you can connect it to like two more things and then you got yourself. So you connect it probably to anything with Bluetooth. So let's say you were going on to a iPhone or not even an iPhone. Actually, I think you could even use an iPhone tablet, PC, laptop. You can do that. That's a thing. But remember, only three devices. And don't forget to switch out. Click FN, QWE. And yeah, change mode, FN, tab, and to pair, FN, P. Okay, cool. So now we are going to test this thing with a wire. I will let you know though, the wire you, you do get for this thing right here, it is short, so it's not going to have like a great distance. Like if I try pulling it, it's it's not that long. You can see it's it's not that long. So I recommend you get a USB extension for this thing at least. And yeah, I recommend if you're going to get a USB extension, get a USB three just in case. But it just really depends. I always get USB three extension USB three extensions just because of the fact that you're USB 3.0, whatever you want to call it. I get USB 3 just because it's good. I use them just in case and I use a lot of USBs because I do a lot of stuff and some of my stuff is USB 2, USB 3, so I just get different things. And don't forget, you can also plug it in to make it actual manual or lane or whatever you want to call it. You can call it whatever you want, but I usually just call it wired. Yeah. So if you plug it in the right side, if I never plug this in right, you can plug it in like so. There. Now it's wired. So you either have a wired version of it. If I can get myself to type this thing. So you can have one version for typing with wired and you can have one version with unplugged and you can type it for Bluetooth. So that's pretty nice. So you can switch out between the two. That's really nice. Makes it easy and compact. I probably like said this multiple times, but it's very compact. It's really nice. Now let's show you how to change to RGB because that's the next thing I want to do. And I just realized I throw the user manual and I kind of forgot about the RGB. So let me actually go get that. Luckily it just landed perfectly on the table over here. So don't forget, read the user manual. If you don't want to read the user manual, Watch this video and I'll explain everything. Either one works. Okay, for RGB, we are gonna read that right now. I am on the right side, right? Yeah, we're on the right side. Okay, there are also a FN plus A to switch to Windows system mode and a FN and S to switch to Mac system mode. So this works for Windows and Mac, that's nice. Uh, let's see, now what we got right here? Where's the RGB? Okay, RGB, let's see. I think it only has a few modes, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Control the brightness of the backlight, which is nice. So you click FN and also those. Okay, nice. And then you can control the speed. So let me show you how to do that real quick. So FN, FN, plus these two bad boys to control the backlight. And then if I click it again, is it just click it once or do you click it twice? Oh, okay. So you do, so you click FN and you click this. So it would basically, you click either minus gear or big gear. 
or plus gear. So you can do this and just brighten up all the way. That's nice. Or you can do this and just decrease all lighting and turn like turn off all light. So don't forget to click these two right here. I'll even show you them. The ones with the gears. So yeah, next to the uh, nice little slash symbol. Okay. So now we're gonna turn that back on. We're gonna just click that back all the way up. Now my brightness is all the way maxed. Now, if the control is speed, you would do the exact same way you would do. You find here, you go down to the below ones, and this would control the speed. So this makes it slow, super slow, and this makes it fast, which it doesn't really matter right now. Okay, so now there should be a way to change this. There was something I saw earlier that switched it. Okay, so yeah. So what you do to switch it, you click FN slash, and it actually changes mode. So right here is just a normal glow mode. Right here we have this mode where it like has that little cool little effect we saw earlier. It waves to you, waves to you. So that's pretty nice. Fn again, now Fn and slash. So Fn slash, my bad. Fn slash and just like a wave down motion. So one motion's like waving like that. One motion's waving like this. So that's pretty cool. I don't think it changes color that I know of right now. But yeah, if we click this again, Fn slash. Another mode waving this way looks like. Again, it has this where it like glows a bit. Does this kind of cool little thing, a little effect. I like. That's kind of like neat. Um, and then you click it again. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Now I click it again. It is a little party mode. So if you want to get your party started, this is a mode for you. I actually do like this. On, that, that's how I might keep. I'm not even keeping this keyboard. I'm giving this keyboard to my friend. My friend had a really bad keyboard. So I'm giving him this keyboard instead. So yeah, I'm not even keeping this. So we're going to change the mode. And it has that cool effect, little sparkle effect or whatever you want to call it. And then change it again. So basically, this thing has a lot of modes for backlight. So if you're looking for a keyboard that's compact, has a lot of cool RGB effects, and also is wired and Bluetooth, man, you found a keyboard for you. So if you click it again, it's changed this mode. Don't even know what to say for that one. And yeah, so pretty much this is nothing. Turned off. Just turned off mode. And then, oh wait, actually that was the mode where you can just click key and it does this thing and lights up when you click on it. So yeah, and back to normal mode. So that was probably roughly around a few modes. I wonder how many modes it should say even how many modes. Uh, it says it has backlight LED, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm, I'm going to make sure how many it has. I think it actually has like, uh, let's just say for right now, it has a quite a bit. I'm not going to say how many, but it has quite a bit. That's a, a lot. I can definitely tell you that much. So that's really nice. So don't forget, you always have a user manual if you need it. Don't forget, read this side. This side, uh, not this side. <laughs> this is the one side you can't read. Uh, yeah, read this side. This is the side you're gonna read. But this is actually really helpful. Um, yeah. So this is pretty cool. So pretty much, what is my thoughts on this keyboard overall? So overall, this keyboard is really good. I do like how it's wired and wireless. That would actually make a big change. And also, I love it how it's compact. So basically. If you work in a small area, a small office, or a small little gaming station, you want to you need a keyboard. This one's compact and also wireless and Bluetooth. If you don't want to deal with those wires, you can go to Bluetooth mode, do that. And if you want to go into that wired mode, you got that option right here with this little dude. So yeah, that's pretty cool. But and unless if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do: smash the like button, dragon punch the subscribe button. And that's pretty much it. Uh, that's all I got to say about this keyboard. This keyboard's really nice. Now, I'll be giving this to my friend later tonight or later on next time I see him. And yeah, but until then, I'll see you guys next time. G-Man, out. Thank you to all the members who are supporting the channel. I cannot thank you guys enough. So thank you again for your support. You guys are the best. Also, there will be a link to the uh, product that I tested out today with you guys. In the description area so go check out the link if you want to look at the keyboard for yourself but until then i'll see you guys next time g-man out